morning. Today we're going to talk about the downswing and how we can prevent ourselves from rushing the downswing. We, ha morning. we have a tendency from the top to pull it down quickly so let's try and find some sort of way or work on a way that's going to make it more achievable for us to slow everything down from the top so we're not going to be quite as fast we're just going to have some sort of control of speed of the downswing. Look at the mess in here. I'm just gonna have to tidy this place up. Right, we're slowing down the downswing. I'm having some form of control on the downswing and I've got a drill just for that. Did you see the golf last week? Did you see Turtle Hatton's shot? How did that ball not go in the hole? That's where the ball finished up. One good skid. And then she did the fandango around the hole. But that doesn't look there. Just have a little look at this. Yeah, I believe his phrase was too much cheese. When you see footage like that on the television, doesn't it just make you think, how good is golf? I think that are brilliant. Yeah, little images like that, you just watching the spin on the golf ball and how he's created that. That's brilliant, I love that. Golf's great. Oh, it's the first swing of the day, really should warm up. It's a bit better. Okay, six iron in hand. <clears throat> So the downswing, we get really, really quick. From the top, we take the club, give it a good pull. That moves plane, alters the plane, therefore the path's gonna be moving in a direction that we didn't intend. Is the face married up to the path? Don't know. Let's slow down the downswing. Let's have a little bit more control on how we're gonna bring the club back towards the golf ball. So to control the downswing, we get to the top, up at the top, and then from there, we get a tendency to go, do you know what? I'm going to do anything I can to make that contact with that, so I'm going to, well, I'm going to hit that harder, or swing faster, or pull down more. Not the answer. We need to control it. We need to slow it all down. We need to get to the top with nice, nice light grip pressure up the top, and then come back down slowly. I'm trying to feel as though gravity plays its part. That's better. Feel as though gravity is playing a bit more of its part. Okay, so there's a drill we can do. It's going to do two things, it's going to slow it down and it's also going to change your path, not your path. It's going to slow down your downswing, obviously, but it's also going to change your swing plane slightly. So it might drop the club a little bit more behind you. That's a good thing. So here's the drill. I'm going to tee the ball up. Put the ball teed up, I've got my six iron, as always. And I'm going to go up to the top of my swing, I'm going to do three different swings. I'm going to go up to the top of my swing, I'm going to stop my swing for three seconds at the top, which will feel like an eternity. Okay, we're going to stop for three seconds, just move that camera a little so I'm more in because I'm moving my ball position. <laughs> stop letting you know that. So I'm going to go up to the top of my swing, move up, and I'm going to stop for three seconds, then I'm in a neutral position. Then from there I have to, I have to move body and let gravity work to bring the club back down. So the momentum stopped and lost. That's what I'm trying to get to here. The momentum has been stopped, the energy has stopped, and then I start again. I'm going to go up to the top, this will feel like forever. Up the top, one, two, three, come back down, hit golf ball. So a three second stop at the top. Okay, yeah, that's a very high T. Okay, so I'm going to go one, two, three. And there I control the speed of my downswing. There was no yanking, no pulling. I put myself in a position where I got stopped. And then back down here. Matsuyama, up to the top and stop. Back down again. One, two, three. Better one. Okay. 
three second pause at the top. This time, two seconds. Okay, so you can hit maybe maybe a dozen balls of a three second pause, which I, as I, it does actually feel like I'm up there forever. This time, two second pause. I'm up to the stop, top, and stop for two seconds. So, one, two. Wasn't a great strike. Let's try again. Up to stop, top, stop. Two seconds. One, two. And again, just trying to feel that there's a little pause at the top. Just to, just to, that pause at the top is just going to kind of hold things together a little bit. The pause at the top is going to stop us from getting too fast. So that little pause at the top, like Matsuyama, if you like, up, controlled and back down. Instead of going up and ooh, heave. We go, two seconds. I'm just a smaller T would probably be better. So one, two. It's good. Then we're going to go down to one, one second. This is more realistic now, so I'm um, one. Back to the golf ball. Okay, there we go. One. Yes. That was really good. I don't think I'd have got as good a strike there had I not done the three, two, then the one. So I prepped myself up to be in a good position on the one second. Had I just started off at one second, it wouldn't have been quite as effective. So the feeling of starting with that exaggerated pause, intermediate pause, then the slight one second pause, has improved that downswing pace altogether. So I'm no longer pulling it as fast and as hard down. One. Oh yeah. Okay. Finished yet. But when I pause at the top for that one second, what's going to actually happen if I can lighten my grip pressure? So, really light grip pressure all the way up to the top and maintain the light grip pressure at the top. Then, if I pause for the one second, because my grip pressure is so light, the gravity is going to drop the club head behind me slightly. Has to. So, I'm really light grip pressure. Really light. So, if the strongest I can grip is 10, the most loose is 1. I'm about 2.5 to 3. So it's waggling about in my hands there. So two and a half, three grip pressure. Nice and light, up to the top, keep it nice and light. So there's still, I mean, I could move that. Up the top, nice and light. And then from there, because my grip pressure is so light, if I was to pause, the weight of the club wants to fall behind me. So nice light grip pressure, let the weight of the club fall behind me. Then from there, I'm coming back down. So I'm up, pause, down, up, Pause, down, up, pause, down. So you can see almost the shaft's almost falling down behind me before I turn it back towards the golf ball. Up, light, light grip pressure lets it fall behind me, and then down to golf ball. Up, up, up. So up, pause, back down. As I say, the light grip pressure, that is what's making the club fall behind me. I mean, that's how gravity works. <laughs> This has got more weight on this end because it's a club head. This end's obviously lighter because it's, well, it's no club head. So to balance it, it has to be there. Good at that, eh? And then, so from there, if I'm gripping it here tightly, I can hold it in a straight line. The lighter I grip it, the more it wants to fall. If I just drop the club, the head of the club will hit the ground first. Okay? The head of the club. The further I drop it from, the, the more the head of the club's going to hit the ground first. So gravity is pulling it in that fashion. So that's the same idea as going up to here. Light grip pressure, almost letting the club go. If I was to let the club go from there, because my hands are in contact with it, the club's going to fall behind me. If I let the whole thing go, it's going to fall down. But if I, if I let my keep a hold of it, I'll keep my hands on the club, but we'll really loosen the grip pressure, it's going to fall behind. So up. Oh. So three seconds, two seconds, one second pause, really light grip pressure all the way to the top, maintain the light grip pressure at the top and as you come back down. And then of course naturally we'll grip a little bit tighter through impact because if we don't we'll let go of the golf club. But that will happen natural. The body's good enough to understand that, or the brain's good enough to understand that. So one shot. One. 
one. There we go. Brilliant. Shallow the plane by using that little pause and gravity. Who thought we'd be talking about gravity today? Okay, so we've got up to the top. Pause, let gravity do its thing. Back down. There, pause, there. One, behind. One, behind. So pause for one, let go of the club, it's going to drop down behind me. Through, so the light grip pressure is key here. One, through, one, through, one, through. So that dropping sensation instead of a pulling, which is going to speed up your downswing. Up the top and pause for one second. Up there, one light grip pressure is going to let the club fall behind me, and then from there, coming back to hit the golf ball through impact. Okay, so getting up to there, and then drop stop for one, letting the club fall down the line. Really light grip pressure. If I'm up here and I'm gripping tight, then I'm going to come back down here, and the steepness of the club's there. Whereas if I'm up there, pause for one. See that fell behind me because light grip pressure. It's only been supported by this index finger and then back down to the golf ball. So up. One. 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 We are now that far, that far, that far away from 10,000 subscribers. Thank you so much.